simple on an egg sandwich. I'm not gonna put too much ketchup on it, okay? It's gonna be on bread that's toasted, not a roll that's untoasted. And Molly wants one. I'm not gonna do bacon, it's just gonna be simple. Eggs, ketchup, bread, butter, keep it moving. Glass of orange juice with pineapple in it. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna eat for the rest of the day. It's not healthy, it's not probably organic, it's probably not the route you wanna take. It's what works for this physique right here, um, but it'll be interesting, I'm sure. Molly requested bacon, so a good chef learns and knows how to adapt on the fly. So I'm gonna put some pre-cooked bacon on a piece of paper towels. And if you don't have this in your kitchen, it's an essential. Get yourself some pre-cooked bacon from Costco. Super simple. 30 seconds in the microwave. Boom, let that cook. Then you'll have some bacon. Throw some butter on the bread is always a little extra tip. Molly prefers organic butter, but I just have the, the whatever this is called, the not just, the, I can't believe it's not butter. Just throw a little on, don't get too crazy with it. You gotta leave some eggs for me. Bacon is a little hot, she likes salt, pepper, ketchup. Bacon comes out looking crispy. Break it up, put a little there. Look at that. Actually looks pretty good. Then my friends, you've got yourself a little bacon, egg, and ketchup. Now I'm gonna make one for myself. Orange peach mango. I know I said pineapple, but this one is just as good. Nice glass. And then, bon appetit. Cheers. Make sure the eggs are still warm. Bacon top, butter is flowing, melted. Very, very good. You'll have some splattered down on the plate. Pick it up with your hand or a fork. Whichever.
Look at your first half. Wash it down. Come on. Anyone who says that doesn't look good is lying to themselves. It probably could be filled out a little bit more over here, but that's just because I didn't put enough eggs. <laughs> was a rust version of how to eat it. I wanted to show you all, but usually you could sit down and enjoy yourself. It'll get eaten fast, but still very good. I'm gonna pour myself a little bit more OJ, probably to around right there. You don't wanna go full cup, cause then you'll be left with some. Um, at breakfast, we'll have lunch, dinner, probably a snack or something thrown in there. Uh, and that's what we eat in quarantine life. Mm. about to make a banging turkey mayo honey turkey mayo on toasted bread with maybe honey ham and then add some cape cod chips in the sandwich trust me trust me trust me toast your bread first okay bread is nice and toasted Throw your mayo down. I need a mayo. There's a new one in there. Yeah, I know. Honey turkey. Honey turkey, honey turkey. Layer it on there. I'd say like five slices. slices say three some spicy brown mustard put that directly onto the ham not on the bread side okay and last but not least some original Cape Cod chips Those go on here. And then carefully flip it over, crunch it down, get a paper towel. Chips, honey, ham, honey, turkey, 
spicy mustard there to combo those, mayo underneath the turkey there, toasty bread. And then a little extra. A little extra garnish. I'm gonna just finish out this bag. Garnish your plate. And there's the final product. The chef, make it look pretty. There you go. And then, last but not least, Finish it off with a good drink. Vanilla Coke. I had a half lemonade, half iced tea, but right before I got on, there was a little slit in the bottle, so it was like coming out. And with Corona, never know, dumped it all out. So this will do the trick. So there's lunch, there's the drink, next meal. So first, wet your palate with a couple chips. Sit down somewhere comfy on the couch. Two o'clock's right in time for Kelly Clarkson's show and then Ellen's show is at three. You'll probably get interrupted by a coronavirus news segments. NBC. For dinner, Molly is going to be chefing it up in the kitchen. She's making like a zucchini squash thingy majiggy. But on the side, she's gonna do some meat sauce. So I'm gonna have just regular pasta, throw that meat sauce on it, butter, Parmesan cheese, keep it moving, call it a night. So I'll let Molly do her thing. All right, so like Corn said, I'm making a spaghetti squash, not zucchini, but spaghetti squash, so, um, I have it in the microwave right now just getting soft so I can cut it in half but I'm gonna cut that up put it in the oven um, after I put it in the oven I'm gonna make the meat sauce and then since corn doesn't eat spaghetti squash I'm gonna make him just um, some penne pasta with meat sauce <laughs> sauce looks actually pretty good she already put my pasta and butter into a bowl so now you just drowns this on there drowns drowns put like two and one more scoops 
Oh, is it still on? Yeah, oh. it's still, it's on very low because mine's not done yet. So I'll mix this up a little bit. And then, put a little Parmigiano on it. And try to tell me that doesn't look banging. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then, okay, okay. your first bite, you make sure you want to get all the cheese, meat, and pasta. Maybe scoop a little more. But it's very hot because the pan is still on. Mmm. God well done. That's dinner. All right, that's what the spaghetti squash looks like when it comes out. So I'm gonna let it cool for just a minute and then I'm gonna turn it into spaghetti. Always refill your Parmesan cheese as it gets depleted as you eat. So give yourself a nice little restocking fee there. that's it before I eat it I usually just like mix it all up like that but it's really good that's quarantine food breakfast lunch dinner there were some snacks in there Molly got her cooking in that's how you eat in quarantine life and always have a vanilla coke <laughs>